a beer now from a little known craft brewery in the middle of the Ardennes. from the Brasserie de Bellavo in Malmondy, we have a bottle of their Brune coming in at 6.8% ABV. Now, um, I discovered this little brewery out in Malmondy, right in the middle of nowhere. Um, when I was on holiday a few years ago, we was in Malmondy on Belgium Independence Day and um, went into a bar, said what local beers you got, and he produced this and and then it was only there one night when i went past malmody last year i thought i'd check out this brewery i looked them up online and everything went there um they've got a fantastic little um bar and they do some fantastic food so i stopped by had a range of their beers bought some beers brought them back and it's probably a year later that i'm that i'm reviewing them so without further ado Let's crack this open. Let's get it into a glass. And let's see what it's like. Um, obviously I've had it before, but I'll tell you what, it's a very good beer to be honest. Um, So there we go. There is Brasserie Bellavo's a Brune in a glass. Now, you'll see, it's, if you look up through the light, you can just about see through this. It is a deep sort of mahogany brown color with a little sort of one finger off white head. Let's get the aromas. Oh. It is so fruity, dried fruits. You're getting caramel there as well. Sort of sweet, sticky, dark caramel and dried fruits. It really is a beautiful smelling brune beer or brown beer. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Look, let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. Your first sip of this beer just brings a smile to your face, okay? Multi caramel. dried figs, dried dates. It's got a creaminess to it as well, this beer. This beer is so creamy and thick bodied. You would, you'd be thinking that you'd be drinking like something like a, uh, a Rochefort 10. If you was to give someone this as a blind test, I think they'll turn around and say, probably, yeah, they'll probably guess it might be a Rochford 8 or a Rochford 10 in their hand. Because it's got that thick body to it. And the, and the beautiful caramel and dried fruits. There's a little bit of banana there. It's sort of, if anything, this beer, it's very sort of like, you know, mousse-like. The way it sort of glides into your mouth. This is just such a well-brewed beer. In fact, all their beers are, they are well-brewed. Um, I think this is 
one of my favourite small breweries in Belgium. Just because the quality of their beer, it's just like it's brewed with, with love and care and Whoever, I haven't, I haven't met the brewer, but I want to go back there, hopefully next year I can get back over there, and meet the brewer, and just sort of see about, you know, how they go about this, because it's just the texture of their beers in your mouth. For a Brunel at 6.8%, there's no bitterness there. It's very, very sweet. Um, it could, like I say, it can part, this could pass off as a, as a Trappist beer. Quite easy. Um, Depending on one, what one depends on your on your taste buds, I suppose. But this could definitely, you know, you could pour this into a Trappist glass and say, "Someone, there you are. There's a there's a um a nice Trappist brown beer for you," and they would probably enjoy it and probably agree with you. You know, um, it's that well made. It's it's awesome. And like I say, it doesn't feel like six percent, six point eight percent ABV. You know, um, it has the mouth feel and the drinking um, sensation of something of a real higher ABV. You know, don't get me wrong, there's no alcohol burn or anything like that. I'm not basing that on the fact that you can feel alcohol in it. I'm just basing it on the fact of the texture and the drinking experience of this beer. I actually am going to say that I reckon this is my favourite, or one of my favourite brown beers, or brown ales, however you want to call it. I don't think this, this moves into the lines of being a double, I think this is, this is, this is a Belgian brown ale, um, because as far as I'm concerned, if, if this was a double, that would be saying double on on the actual on the packaging on their website um etc but no this is a a fantastic example of a belgian brown it's so drinkable um it's just just an art form at the end of the day but like i always say if you're out that way because i know a lot of my uh, subscribers go to belgium quite a bit I think get out to Malmedy check this little brewery out because you won't be disappointed they, get, they do a lovely spread of cold like food when you're there as well um you know cheese boards and, and um soups and some soups there and you know um during the day so you can pull up get yourself a nice platter of cheese and hams and sausages and whatnot right and have a flight of their beers, all the different ones, and sit there and, and enjoy life. You know, that's what you can do when you're over there. So look, check out this brewery. And obviously, Melanie's a very historical place, obviously, with the Battle of the Bulge as well. So if you like the Battle of the Bulge, like the, the World War II history, it's another reason to go there. So look, go to Melanie, check this brewery out, try their beers, see what you think. Right, leave a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <coughs> TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.